The nation's religious leaders have come together to call for a referendum on an indigenous voice to parliament. The joint resolution signed by representatives including the Anglican Church, the Catholic bishops and Hindu Council of Australia urges all sides of politics to put their differences aside in support of a public vote. A unified call from Australia's religious leaders. For the first time, nine diverse faiths came together to support an Indigenous voice to Parliament. This is a unifying moment. It is our chance to close the gap. Each leader signed a joint resolution backing calls for the voice to be enshrined in the Constitution, a move that will spark a referendum. Recognition of an Indigenous voice in the Constitution um, is something to us that's very simple to understand, very meaningful. It's a part of the healing process uh, in regards to coming to terms with what happened with the Aboriginal community. It's been five years since the landmark Uluru Statement first called for a voice, a representative body that would give Indigenous people a say about laws that affect them. It was rejected by the then Turnbull government, arguing it wouldn't get enough public support. The last successful Indigenous vote was on this day in 1967. But today, new leadership is giving some a sense of hope. Now is a chance to actually build a better democracy. I think the time has come, yes, definitely the time has come. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese has committed to holding a referendum on an Indigenous voice, but has stopped short of giving a timeline. Advocates say there's no time to lose. There can be no more delay. Our country has wanted and waited too long for justice. Justice, many hope, will come sooner rather than later. Nikari Thorpe, ABC News, Sydney.